Silly Cycles scavenging solutions and purification strategies. Ciliamids DMT and thiol are excellent metal traps for both palladium and nickel. Transition metal catalysts, especially when palladium based, are widely used in organic or pharmasynthesis. Let's take a typical example and discover how palladium can be purified in either bulk or SPE conditions. Bulk. When your reaction is completed, your solution may contain palladium that has leached from your catalyst. Simply add your scavenger to the solution. There's no need to be in anhydrous conditions, no need for pre-wetting nor pre-activation. For initial testing, you can start using 48 molar equivalents for one hour at room temperature. When the scavenging is almost completed, the solution is less colored at the expense of the scavenger that itself has become colored. Some optimization can of course be undertaken. Longer reaction times, higher temperatures, higher molar equivalents, faster stirring and so on. At the end of the scavenging, filter off your scavenger using a fritted funnel or any kind of filtration device. The solution is colorless, cleared of any palladium or nickel, while the scavenger with bound metal has itself become colored. Wash off the scavenger with additional solvent for total recovery of your API and concentrate the solution under vacuum. Various functionalized silicas are available depending on the metal nature of your impurity. SPE. Silumet scavengers are also available in SPE cartridges. Follow us for more hints and scavenging techniques. Many more scavenging optimization tricks can be examined. Dark scale-up is also possible. There is a very strong need in organic chemistry and high throughput screenings for simpler workup and purification processes. Metal scavengers have been widely acknowledged and adopted by early R&D labs up to manufacturing teams. 